We're bringing you Table Talk Live from Westminster 2020. We're on day two today, and I am here with Michael Pisari and Archer. And we are going to talk to you a little bit today about the Sky Terrier, breed characteristics. Michael, tell me a little bit about this breed. What makes a Sky Terrier a Sky Terrier? Okay, the Sky Terrier is one of the oldest terrier breeds. What makes a Sky a Sky is it's a dwarf breed, a chondroplastic. So it's long and low. Long, low, and level are the, the breed characteristics. The unique thing about the Sky is that in the standard for the Sky, there's reference to elegance. However, the Sky is known for its strength. It was bred to dispatch with otter, badger, foxes, weasel, so some pretty serious vermin. So under this elegant coat is a very serious working terrier. And throughout the standard, there are references to the word strength everywhere throughout the standard. And you'll see that the sky is twice as long as he is tall. And that's measured from the point of forward part of the chest to over the tail, should be twice as long as the height at the shoulders. Two to one. The sky also, the elegance really comes from the long, gracefully arched neck which this dog has very nicely. The coat is a double coat. Um, the top coat should be have some crispness to it. It's, it should protect them from the weather. The undercoat is a softer coat that insulates them from the extremes of the weather. Again, breed characteristics, long, low, and level. Strength, you want to see strength. Top skull, under jaw. Okay working terrier okay hindquarters you want to see some breadth of hindquarters um, very important you don't want a dog that's narrow and fine and weedy now clearly you know this is a dog and he he looks like a dog you don't want necessarily a male to look like a bitch or a bitch to look like a dog so yeah. tell me um, about the temperament a little bit okay the temperament they can be pretty serious. So with a sky, you have to earn their respect. Once you have their respect, you have it for life. And, you know, like a lot of terriers, it has to be their idea. <laughs> so they don't respond well to uh, being forced to do anything. It has to be their idea. And, and I would say once, you know, if they're well socialized and well bred, uh, they can be wonderful, wonderful companions and get along with other dogs and children. Uh, socialization is very important for Sky Terriers, as, as it is with other Terriers also. Okay, now tell me, when you're showing the Sky Terrier, how do you prefer a judge approach and examine this breed? Okay, uh, so... The first thing I would ask is it's not a bad idea to take the dog around the ring or take the entry around the ring together. That puts the dog at ease and it also gives you an opportunity to get a first impression of their movement. Okay, now I'm going to come around to the front. When you approach the sky, I always recommend to judges, announce your arrival. So talk to the dog, come from underneath. Now you've put the dog at ease, okay? Uh, I think sometimes if, you're, if you don't say anything and you initially come right down on the dog, you could startle the dog. So it's not a bad idea to come below. This also gives you an opportunity to feel the underjaw because you want a nice strong underjaw. Lift the coat off the eye. One eye and then the other. I mean, that gives you an opportunity to see they should have a nice dark brown eye, almond shape. and fairly closely set and you want to see personality in their eyes I mean it's important okay okay now uh, you also you want to get a nice full handful of top skull they should have a nice strong head moderate fill under the eyes you don't want a s snipey muzzle okay so now you've had a opportunity you uh, examine the bite scissor a level 
Now, come to the side. Of course, you'll be on that side, and the handler will be on this side. Uh, let's see, how can I do this? I'm gonna come around. Come on over, you're good. Okay. You want a nice handful of fort chest, nice strong pro sternum. They can have slight wraparound to the front, but you don't want too much curvature to the front legs. Nice closely fitting elbows. Now, you can assess the layback of shoulder and the length of the scapula, all with your fingers. Putting your thumb at the forward part of the shoulder blade and your pointing finger at the top of the shoulder. You can then bring your pointing finger around and feel the humerus. These bone segments should be equal. So you want lay back of shoulder and then these bone segments should be about equal. This is a good, as you transition now, you can kind of assess the top line, make sure it's a nice level top line. Uh, feel the coat, feel that it has a nice crisp texture to it. Now you coming to the hindquarters. Here you might have to re reset the dog. Sometimes they pull their legs forward and it's not a bad idea to reset it if you need to. Um, Hawks should be well let down. Hindquarters, again, strength. You want a nice breadth of hindquarters. That's one thing that this dog has in spades. And it's, uh, it's a very admirable breed characteristic. You want nice breadth of hindquarters. You also want to feel muscle. The dog should be in good muscle tone. And this is an area where in the hindquarters, you can feel if the dog has been, had an adequate amount of exercise. The tail, you can feel the set of the tail. Uh, on the move, hopefully you're seeing the same thing. The tail should be carried, setter tail. Sometimes in a ring with a number of males, it might be a little higher than, than level, but it should be around the, the extension of the top line. Now I think you're ready to take the dog on the down and back.